26 मार्च 2021 मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन द बिगेस्ट इलनेस इज बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस इट वॉज थ्रू दिस इलनेस दैट देर वॉज द डाउनफॉल देर फोर नाउ बिकेम सोल कॉन्शियस क्वेश्चन वेन विल यू चिल्ड्रन रीच यू अ कर्मादी स्टेज आंसर when you gain victory over the suffering of karma with the power of yoga and when you become completely soul conscious this illness of body consciousness is the biggest illness it is through this illness that the world has become impure become soul conscious and you will have happiness and intoxication and your behavior will be reformed song o oh, traveler of the night do not become weary the destination of the town is not far off om shanti you children have heard the meaning of traveler no one apart from you mouth born creation brahmins can explain this when you were deities you were also human beings and your characters were very good you were full of all virtues and 16 celestial degrees full you were the masters of the world no human being knows how you change from diamonds into shells you also completely change number wise according to the efforts you make you haven't yet become deities you are being rejuvenated some have changed a little the characters of some have changed 5% and others 10% the world doesn't know that bharat was heaven they say that deities existed in bharat 3000 years before christ they had such a virtues that they were called gods and goddesses they don't have those virtues now people don't understand how the downfall of bharat which was so wealthy happened only the father sits and explains this those of you whose characters have changed can explain this the father says children when you were deities you were soul conscious and then when the kingdom of ravan began you became body conscious this body consciousness is the biggest illness you have in the golden age you were soul conscious and very happy no one knows who made you that the father sits here and explains why your downfall happened you forget your religion bharat has become worth not a penny what is the main reason for this body consciousness the drama is predestined people don't know how bharat which was so wealthy became as poor as it is now we belong to the original eternal deity religion so how did we become corrupt in our religion and actions the father explains when it became the kingdom of ravan you became body conscious and thus therefore became your condition the ladder shows how the downfall happened body consciousness is the main reason why you became worth not a penny the father sits here and explains this to in the scriptures they have shown the duration of the cycle to be hundreds of thousands of years now the a uh, sensible ones are the christians they do say that 3000 years before christ there was paradise people cannot understand that it was ancient bharat that was called heaven nowadays they don't know the full history and geography of bharat a few children have a little knowledge but they also have body consciousness because they think that there is no one like them the father explains why bharat has reached such a state of degradation bapu gandhi ji also used to say purifier come come and establish the kingdom of ram souls definitely received happiness from the father at some point that is why they remembered the purifier the father explains my children 
who changed from Shudras into Brahmins don't become completely soul conscious either. They repeatedly became body conscious. This is the oldest disease and it is through this that your condition has become like it is. It takes a lot of effort to become soul conscious. The more soul conscious you become, the more you will remember the father. Therefore, there should be limitless happiness. It is remembered. You were concerned to meet the supreme one who lives in the element of Brahma, the element beyond. And you have now found him. You receive the inheritance of 21 births from him. What else do you need? Simply become soul conscious and constantly remember me alone. You may live at home with your family. The whole world is body conscious. The downfall of Bharat, which was so elevated, did happen. No one can tell you what his history and geography is. Thus things are not mentioned in any of the scriptures. Deities were soul conscious. They understood that they had to shed their bodies and take others. They were not God conscious. The more soul conscious you remain and the more you remember the father, the sweeter you will become. It is by becoming body conscious that there is fighting, quarreling and monkeyish behavior. The father explains all of this. This Baba also understands all of this. Some children become body conscious and forget Shri Baba. Even very good children are still body conscious. They don't become soul conscious at all. You can explain this unlimited history and geography to anyone. They definitely were the sun and moon denies the kingdoms. No one knows the drama. Bharat has now fallen so much and the root of the downfall is body consciousness. Some children too became body conscious. They don't understand who is giving them directions. Always consider it to be Shri Baba who is telling you. It is because of not remembering Shri Baba that you became body conscious. The whole world has become body conscious and this is why the father says constantly remember me alone. Consider yourselves to be souls. The soul listens through this body and plays its parts. The father explains so well. Although some of you give very good lectures, good behavior too is necessary because of becoming body conscious, some feel there isn't that happiness or intoxication. Then they perform very sinful actions due to which a lot of punishment will be experienced. A lot of damage is caused by being body conscious. A lot of punishment has to be experienced. The father says this is the godly world government. Is it not? The right hand of myself, the godly government is Dharamraj. When you perform good actions, you receive good fruit from that. Through bad actions being performed, punishment is experienced. Everyone also experiences punishment in the jail of a worm. There is a story about this. All of those things refer to this time. The praise is only of the one father. There is praise of no one else. This is why it is written Trimurti Shiv Jayanti is worth a diamond. All the rest are but shell. No one apart from Shri Baba can purify you. You became pure and then Ravan makes you impure. Due to which everyone becomes body conscious. You are now becoming soul conscious. This soul conscious stage lasts for 21 births. So the greatness is of the one. It is Shri Baba who makes Bharat into heaven. No one knows when Shri Baba comes. His history should be known first. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is called Shiv. You understand that there was the downfall because of body consciousness. It is when this has happened that the Father can come to make it rise, rise and fall day and night. The sun of knowledge arises and dispels the darkness of ignorance. The greatest ignorance is that of body consciousness. 
no one even knows about souls they simply say that each soul is the supreme soul and they have therefore become such a sinful souls this is why there has been the downfall you have taken 84 births and continue to come down the ladder this play is predestined no one but you children knows the history and geography of the world how there was the downfall of the world they believe that there has been a lot of improvement through science they don't understand that the world has become even more impure and hellish there is a lot of body consciousness the father says you now have to become soul conscious there are many very good maharathis they speak knowledge very well but their body consciousness hasn't been removed yet because of having body consciousness there is trace of anger in some a trace of attachment in others there is one thing or another everyone's character has to be reformed become very very sweet this is why the example of the lion and lamb drinking water from the same stream is given that there, there are no animals that cause sorrow hardly anyone understand these things they understand things number wise it is with great difficulty that the suffering of karma is finished and they become karmatit many become body conscious they are not aware of who is giving them these directions how could you receive shrimat from shri krishna shubha vasis how could i give you shrimat without this one this one is fixed as my chariot don't ruin yourself for nothing by becoming body conscious and performing wrong actions what would the consciousness of that then be a very low status would be received the uneducated ones will have to bow down in front of the educated ones many people say that the history and geography of bharat is not as complete as it should be this has to be explained to them no one apart from you can explain this however a soul conscious stage is required only such ones can claim a high status as yet none of you has reached your karmatit stage this one means brahma baba has many responsibilities he had so many worries even though he understands that everything happens according to the drama nevertheless different methods have to be created in order to explain to you this is why baba says you can become much more soul conscious you don't have any burdens on you the father has many burdens this one prajapita brahma is the head but no one knows that shu baba is sitting in him among you two hardly anyone keeps this faith you have to know this world history and geography when there was heaven in bharat and where it then went to how did its downfall take place no one knows this unless you explain no one can understand this is why baba gives you directions write to those in schools and tell them that they should show the history and geography of the world give lectures about the downfall bharat used to be like a diamond how did it became like a shell how many years did this take we can explain all of this you can drop leaflets from aeroplanes those who explain have to be very clever the government wants this therefore invite everyone to the government hall began bhavan tally have it printed in a newspapers also send everyone invitation cards we are explaining to you the history and geography of the whole world from the beginning to the end they will come and go of their own accord there is no question of money for instance if you meet someone who wants to give you a present you cannot accept it you could use it for service but you couldn't accept it for yourself the father says what would i do with a donation from you i would have to give you the full return i am the very clever stock broker acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother 
the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point don't perform any wrong actions by becoming body conscious make full effort to become soul conscious continue to reform your character second point become very very sweet and cool remove the evil spirit of anger and attachment from within you blessing may you constantly be an embodiment of total success by using the elevated treasure of time in a worthwhile way explanation the children who use the treasure of time for the benefit of themselves and everyone else automatically accumulate all other treasures those who know the importance of time and use it in a worthwhile way automatically accumulate the treasures of thoughts happiness power knowledge and breath simply let go of carelessness and use the treasure of time in a worthwhile way and you will constantly be an embodiment of total success slogan to go to the bottom of the ocean with concentration and stability and find the diamonds and pearls of experience is to become an embodiment of experience om shanti invaluable elevated virgins of mateshwari ji first the expansion of tamoguni maya the three words satoguni rajoguni and tamoguni are used but it is essential to understand this accurately people think that these three virtues exist at the same time but what does reason tell us have these three virtues continue to exist at the same time or is the part of each of the three virtues separate in each age reasoning says that these three virtues do not exist at the same time when it is the golden age means satyug it is satoguni when it is the copper age it is rajoguni and when it is the iron age it is tamoguni when it is sato it is not then rajo or tamo when it is rajo it is not satoguni people have continued to believe that the three continue to exist at the same time it is a huge mistake to say this the belief that when a person is telling the truth and not committing any sin he is satoguni but reason tells us that when we say satoguni it means that there is complete happiness that is the whole world is satoguni you cannot say that a person who tells the truth is satoguni and that a person who tells lies is iron aged and tamoguni the world has continued in this way when we say that it is golden age it means that the whole world is satoguni and satopradhan yes there used to be the golden age like that at one time when the whole world was satoguni that satyug means golden age does not exist now now it is the iron age world which means the whole world is the tamapradhan kingdom how can there be anything satoguni in the tamapradhan world there is now extreme darkness which is called the night of brahma the day of brahma is the golden age and the night of brahma is the iron age so we cannot combine the two second point to take you from the iron age dustless world to the essential golden age world is the task of god alone why is the iron age world called the dustless world because this world has no essence in it that is nothing has any strength left that is there is no happiness peace or purity there isn't the happiness peace and purity that there used to be in the world there isn't that strength anymore because this world has the five vices in it therefore this world is called the ocean of fear 
and the ocean of karmic bondages this is why people are unhappy and call out to god god take us across the ocean to the other side this proves that there definitely is a world that is without fear that is there is a world without fear to which they want to go this is why this world is called the ocean of sin which they want to leave and go across to the world of a charitable souls so there are two worlds one is the essential golden age world and the other is the testless iron age world both worlds exist on this earth god is now establishing that essential world acha om shanti